Hi, I'm Gareth Morgan. I'm director of the Myeloma Institute at UAMS in Little Rock, Arkansas. So what do patients need to know about myeloma? Um, and in, in a broad educational uh, way, patients really do need to understand what it is, okay? So it's a disease of cells called plasma cells that live in your bone marrow. They can do some bad things to your body. So they can punch holes in the bones, and the fewer holes in the bones you have, the better. So you should always think about your bone health. The other thing these plasma cells do is that they can make you prone to infection. The biggest cause of death in myeloma is infection. So you should be very careful about temperatures. If you have a temperature, you should have antibiotics. Always seek medical advice. Don't sit at home until something bad has happened. The other thing, they produce a protein, an abnormal protein that you can measure in the blood. That's called a paraprotein. And the paraproteins come in two types, heavy chains and light chains. The heavy chains are a good marker for the disease. If you start off with a paraprotein level, an abnormal protein level of six, and it comes down to one, that means the plasma cells in the bone marrow have gone down. The other marker is these light chains. So these are kind of tricky little devils. You don't want um, too many light chains circulating around because they go to the kidney and they can damage your kidney, cause renal failure, and if you lose your kidney function early on, that uh, compromises your whole outcome. So you need to know, do you have light chains? You can measure them in the blood with this serum-free light chain assay. If they're up, you need to drink three liters of water a day, keep the kidneys flushed out, but start treatment before they've damaged your kidneys. Myeloma is all about bone pain, anemia, tiredness, infection, and damage to your kidneys. All of that can be prevented by treating early and not waiting too long. So my advice to people with, with myeloma is always get the best opinion that you can. See an oncologist who's actually an expert in myeloma. Why would you ask a breast cancer doctor how to treat your myeloma? So always see an expert, always be fully investigated and always have the best treatment for you that suits you at that time in your life. But knowledge is power. Have the investigations, see the expert, then make a decision.